We're going on day three of Iditarod 51, where the race is still anyone's game. And according to the race standings, it shows the top 10 mushers all out of Roan, and they are on their way to Nikolai this morning. But before we see where they're at on the trail, let's bring you up to speed on the very latest. So rookie Jennifer Close, Labar scratched. She really was racing under bib 13 from Healy. For the rest to remain in the race, dogs, the Rainy Pass just, checkpoint welcomes really mushers and fans <laughs> from around the world each year. Beth Burge was at the checkpoint Monday and shares what some of the mushers did while their dogs got some rest. At the Rainy Pass checkpoint in Iditarod 51, a beautiful sunny day. Oh, oh, there you go. Many teams running right through instead of stopping for anything except the check-in and maybe a few more provisions. But some did stay in the actual checkpoint for a rest. Among them, veteran Ryan Reddington and Hunter Keefe, a rookie who's running some of the Reddington family's dogs. I just got really, really lucky. All the Reddingtons, have, um, all of them have played really big roles in my life. Robert's the one who kind of got me there with Ramey. Um, I needed a place to stay and while well, I was working in Kinnick, and it just worked out that I started running his dogs three years ago. And, um, Brian's been a great mentor role as well. Yeah, I had three top tens in a row, so another top ten finish would be cool, but it's dog racing and we got a long ways to go. And while the first two to arrive to Rainy Pass had a head start on their rest, veteran Dan Caduce was the next to give his dogs a revamp inside the checkpoint. It's certainly sunny. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, the trail was all right. Uh, not the greatest ever, not the worst ever by any means. Uh, but uh, plenty of snow. Part of that was the toasty temps during the day, which are already changing conditions and the way teams are running this race. <laughs> Bluebird skies, a fan's dream. Great experience. I would say bucket list experience for us. It has just been wonderful. So glad she talked me into it because I was like, I don't know, Alaska in March? Are you? <laughs> this has been an awesome experience. It has. What a great trip. Seeing one of the checkpoints, it's been fun and exciting. But for mushers and their dog teams, another factor out on the trail. Hey. Beth Verge, Alaska's news source. A one musher, though, is dealing with a rough ride on the trail. Katie Jo Dieter hasn't been feeling well with stomach bug-like symptoms. Plus, her sled broke in multiple places. Leaving Finger Lake is always wild, and the steps are wild. Um, but I think that this happened after the steps. Um, that section of trail is pretty technical, and I tip my sled off to the right, kind of out of a corner, um, and my hook jumped off my sled and grabbed a tree and just stopped me, like, dead, like, instantly stopped. I had to cut the tree down to get my hook off. Dieter didn't plan to stop in Rainy Pass. She wanted to go a few more miles, but says since it was so hot Monday, the unexpected stop was good for the dogs. Dieter says she's having a good race despite the issues. I was on my schedule, and the team was doing that and was looking good. Um, it's frustrating now to be off that schedule, and I'm going to have to kind of think of how I want to change, change it up, maybe. Or don't worry about it. Just be happy with getting to the finish. And now let's check the leaderboard. So this was last updated just before 5 o'clock this morning. It does show the top 10 mushers, as I mentioned, who left Roan. Of course, Ryan Reddington, bib number five, was the first musher out of Roan at 6.32 last night, followed by Jesse Holmes and Brent Sass. The next checkpoint is Nikolai at mile 263 of the race, and then they're on to McGrath. Now, even though the standing show mushers leaving a checkpoint, there is a lot that can happen out on the trail in between each. Some can be resting while others are continue racing. And according to the GPS tracker right now, you can see several mushers are actually on the move. Uh, Nicholas Petit in the lead right now. He's He's getting pretty close to Nikolai, as you can see, way ahead of uh, uh, Ryan Reddington that is right behind him racing at a speed of 8.1. Then we have Kelly Maxner. He's about an 8.6 speed, followed by Richie Deal and, of course, last year's winner, uh, Brent Sass. So, again, the green means that they are racing. This is active and up to date. If you do see an orange flag, which a little bit more down the ways, that means that they're resting. But, again, this is ever-changing. And, of course, you can always get the most up-to-date results by keeping track with us on alaskasnewsource.com.